Hey, everybody. Good evening. Welcome, welcome. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, as soon as I'm done with this live stream tonight, I'm going to sleep. I am like so freaking beat. <laughs> Old age is catching up with me, but that, that happens. So I hope everybody's doing well. Welcome again. Um, we're going to be talking tonight. We're going to be going over talking about greenhouses, uh, geothermal, aquaponics. Some people call it earth battery instead of geothermal, but uh, same type of thing. So we're going to be discussing those type of things. And uh, I have a big announcement that I'm going to be sharing with you guys tonight. So stay tuned for that. Uh, I'm not doing it right away because it would be too easy. So i got to do it partway through the show so we'll figure out some spot to uh to make that announcement so but uh i hope everybody's doing well um to begin with again i would just ask everybody to uh please be decent to each other in the comments um you know no racism no swearing just no nastiness in general if you do then uh what'll happen these awesome moderators that you see lit up in blue uh, yeah, the Cowboys are playing tonight, JJ. I know. So hopefully they got to be Philadelphia. So, but uh, my awesome moderators in blue will boot you out if you do not behave yourself. So just save yourself the time and energy and please don't be stupid. Um, it's not it's not acceptable and it's not going to be tolerated. So I uh, appreciate everybody and, uh, you know, my moderators do a great job and we keep it, keep a good show. And that's what I want to do. So. Anyway, that being said, so let's get into talking about greenhouses. How important are greenhouses? The way the seasons have been, especially this year's growing season, uh, it's just it's greenhouses are so much more important than ever before uh, just because the weather has been so wacky. Uh, what I like about the greenhouses um, is that... Uh, with the greenhouses, you got a controlled environment to grow in. So even if you're having like a tremendous amount of rain, um, and it's a really, really rainy year, as long as you have that greenhouse, you can control what happens with your plants, okay? Uh, I think that's a really, really important thing. Greenhouses, it makes it so that your growing season starts earlier and it can last longer. Now, with the geothermal part of it, and I'll, I'm gonna talk about that a little bit, is, uh, you could grow year round, especially in the Northeast. There's a guy, um, I can't remember the name of the channel. People sent me links and I've actually seen his stuff before. He's in Nebraska and he actually has in his greenhouse, he has um, an orange tree, which produces oranges. So that's how we, you can do it with the geothermal. So what geothermal is, is you dig down under the ground. And once you get under the frost line, depending on where you're at in the country, the frost lines at different levels, it stays a constant temperature of 58 degrees okay so with it being 58 degrees all the time at that level with these tubes you put these tubes underneath there and they come up into your greenhouse so you have a monitoring system in your greenhouse where if the temperature goes below 58 degrees you have fans on these pipes or these tubes okay and what it does is it blows the air into the tubes and that air on the other end is coming out at 58 degrees, which is absolutely freaking awesome. So it could be 20 below zero and you got a blizzard going on outside and you can walk into your greenhouse and it's going to be at least 58 degrees. So 58 degrees, what are you going to grow in 58 degrees? You can grow like cabbage, um, kale, your heartier, uh, you know, produce that way. So you can still have fresh produce year round which is really, really awesome. So um, it's really, having a greenhouse is absolutely fantastic and is great to have. And it's, I think it's really important to have, especially if you are gonna be a homesteader and, uh, well, okay, so here's a great example, okay? I'm gonna give you a great example. You look at any of those Alaska shows when they do the shows on uh, Nat Geo and stuff like that, every freaking one of them has a greenhouse every one of them and they have huge greenhouses and their growing season is so limited they're trying to extend that growing season so they know the importance of that you know having that fresh fruit of uh, food you know and produce all the time so they're always growing i know a lot of them you know they're they don't do the aquaponic systems but you know and and again that's kind of a individualized taste you can still have a greenhouse and still grow with dirt if you want but um, 